Hi everyone, this video is not going to be long, it's going to be uh, really short, uh, I'm not trying to keep you long, uh, this is really a, a wake up video, uh, you heard me talk about the new age yesterday and how uh, I've tried to talk to them many times about this and they claim they're healers and all that, you, you're going to hear me say that a lot about them, uh, because it's the, it's the same thing, uh, kind of with religion too. Uh, uh, many of you, you know, uh, my African people uh, that's in religions or African people that's just out here in the world, you want to help and you want to fix these issues that we're having that you're seeing in the news media. I hate what happened to uh, that Alton uh, Sterling. I hate what that happened to the brother. And believe me, my I, I feel that. My heart goes out to that too. Uh, I weep every time I see something like that, and I mean that literally. It really pains me to see that. Uh, <clears throat> but many of you brothers and sisters want to know, what can you do to help? Well, this is what you can do. You can start educating yourself on who you are, and you can start taking a step back from some of these religions just for a minute to find out who you are and start loving yourself. Because, see, once you start loving yourself and knowing who you are, uh, you won't allow anyone to treat you this way or you, do you this way. And we, when we start collectively start thinking like that and start loving ourselves and loving each other, we won't experience that so much because we'll be thinking totally different. You know, uh, Alton wouldn't have had to be out there selling CDs on the block if we were, uh, you know, thinking together collectively. You know, he had no support. We don't have any support support for each other. So we can't really, you know, help each other. If you don't want to see that again, you know, educate yourself. Put your put your religions down. Put your religions down because Jesus is not gonna gonna save us. Nothing outside of us is gonna save us. God was is within you. It is within you to take action. The God within you to take action to prevent this from happening. This is how this happened. And so you're going to see a lot of this happen. Uh, I, I also heard about the lady who stabbed her kids to death in Memphis. And this mental illness. And see, this believing in something outside ourselves, it causes that type of stuff. You know, it causes that because when Jesus or this Jesus or, you know, don't come up or this God doesn't show up when something happens, you know what I'm saying? We do something drastically. We do some drastically. So this is where, uh, you know, believing something outside of yourself get, gets you. You know, uh, we start making these decisions that, that, that are not healthy for us. You know, I sure, I mean, I, I really, really hate that happen. But, you know, you saying you want to help. And I hear a, a lot of young people say, oh, that's so sad. You know, what can I do to help? Young people, what you can do to help is educate yourself on who you are as an African person. Find out who you are and why this is happening. Okay? Learn about who you were before you were get before you were slaves. I'm not talking about when you became a slave. Before you were a slave, find out who you were because that's going to tell you so many answers about who you are. That's important. And for some of these religious people, I don't know if it's going to ever help uh, for you because you just do not get it. All the prayer and marching in the world, it's not going to stop them from killing us. It's just not. It's not going to work, work that way. You are being forced to evolve mentally. Some of you feel like your religion is being attacked because it has been exposed because of truth. It is not being attacked. It has been exposed and the veil is being lifted. And you are being forced to evolve into a higher state of consciousness because they, the ancestors are returning. They have always talked about this day. Our, our, our DNA always tries to co uh, correct itself. These, these are scientific, you know, these are scientific knowledge I'm talking about. I don't deal with, uh, I'm not talking about no boo hocus pocus stuff. You know, I'm talking about scientifically genetic dna our ancestors are trying to repair themselves through this knowledge some of our kids they seem like they're just born with knowledge they're just born old souls you know what i'm saying they're just born knowing things 
And it's, it's because of our ancestors. And I'm sure some of you have experienced some things that you just know. You don't know why you know or why you feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Or why you a certain way, you know, on certain things. And it's probably from, you know, your DNA, your ancestors. That is strong. DNA, you know, it is very strong. And people would tell, you know, scientists would tell you this. Our ancestors knew, know this. They knew this. Okay, so if you want to help, wake up. Step, uh, step away from these religions. You know, learn about your history. Because once you start learning who you are, you're going to raise your vibrations too. Because you have a very glorious history. You have a very glorious history. You have a very beautiful birthright. So you're going to raise your vibrations, okay? And you're going to want to know more about yourself. And then you're going to see the dangers in some of these religious concepts or beliefs that you are engaging in. And you're going to put them away, you know. But African people, and don't be duped. You know, people tell you, you know, I noticed that too because that's the same thing in New Age and you see the same thing in the religious. You know, that's how they duped us into religion. Oh, it doesn't matter what color it is. It doesn't matter because, God, we got the own same soul. No. No. You know why I say that? Because it's still not working. I'm calling on this God y'all gave me, and it's still not working. You are still, it's non-Africans that are killing us, and you're telling us it doesn't matter about color. Again, you're being duped. I had somebody to tell me that, um, Racism was a mental construct. No, it's not my imagination. How can we collectively be having the same, I mean, you know what I'm saying, delusion at the same time? So it's not a mental construct. It is, you know, you know, it's been purposely done. It's not our imagination. But he was right on this. Africans, we do need to change our way of thinking. We have got to put around put away from this uh these religions because they got us believing in fantasies and we're uh we are denying our god-given power you are steady denying your god power if it's as long as you picking up this religion because you think something outside of yourself is more powerful than you and it's not you are the most powerful being to save yourself okay our ancestors gave us everything we need to save ourselves. We just have to stop thinking. Thinking. We have to change our way of thinking. We have to change our way of thinking. If you want to help, change your way of thinking. Put down these religions and research your history. Find out more about your ancestors. You know. Uh, and you, you're going to hear, you know... Oh, we're all the same. We're all we no, we're not. Because if we're all the same, why do you why do you go out your way to deny these these facts, historical facts about me and my ancestors? See you we got to ask the hard questions to the people that's non Africans. We have to ask them hard questions. Why do you go out of your way to hide this information? Because if we were all the same, you wouldn't go out of your way to hide this information or deny it. Or, you know, when I bring it up, you wouldn't get hostile, you know. So we can't be all the same because when I bring up my historical, you know, records of who I am, you want to totally ignore it or, you know, we're all the same. But then you want to focus on uh, just you. You know what I'm saying? So we get duped into that. And this right here, this can create mental illness. This, this is create mental illness. That's why you got us bound down. We're believing in these uh these fantasies. You got uh this one preacher that was walking to try to walk on water and killed himself. You got people uh going in the uh going going to the zoo, jumping in, going going into the lion den, like the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got people that they're killing their family. You know, saying something, telling them to kill their family. You got people just, you know, so. The veil is being lifted, you know, and people are being exposed. And if, if you don't want to be a, a casualty in this, the best way to do 
You know, the best thing to do is educate yourself, African people. You know, educate yourself and ask the hard questions in your religion. Ask the qu the hard question to your non-African um, colleagues, constituents, you know, peers. Ask them because you're not imagining this. We, we just get duped into thinking we're like everybody else. So we won't uh, research and know more about ourselves, because if we were like, just, if we were like everybody else, why the heck are you killing us in such a, you know, way like this? If we're such this, you know, the same way, so don't be, don't be do. It's a reverse cycle, cycle, a cup, cycle. I can't talk. Reverse psychological thing. It's reverse psychology that's being used on us. And because we uh, we have been under so much psychological, uh, you know, damage, we 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 it's a rat it's a rat and mouse game. You know what I mean? It's a rat and, and cat game. You know what I'm saying? We just we keep spinning our wheels. You know, but don't let anyone you know because we're supposed to love ourselves, and that's the first thing you do when you become spiritual. You love yourself the way you are, you know. You love the in part of yourself and the out part of yourself. So when somebody's telling you it don't matter what color, they don't matter what color you is and all this type of stuff, they're duping you into thinking, you know. Again, cause see, this is mind thing. It's a mind. It, it is a mind thing. Okay, because if your mind ain't right, your spirit ain't gonna be right. If your mind ain't gonna fun. If your mind don't function function right. All of it work together, your mind, body, and spirit. If your mind don't function right, your spirit ain't going to function right. Okay, so you got people playing with your mind, and so it's confusing your spirit. Okay, so you got them in a duping you. Are we all the same? And all this type of stuff. But then, you know, really, truly, our spirit tell us to love ourselves the way we are, to love, you know what I'm saying? And you're getting duped into thinking that you don't have to do that. You, you see what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense to you. You know, you're supposed to love yourself the way you are, African people. You don't have to pretend like you don't have no skin, that you're only a soul. Because when you're on this plane, you're not walking in your energetic body. You're walking in your physical body. Okay? Your energetic body is meant when you're going into a spiritual realm. Or when you're working with energy. Okay? So you don't separate the two. See that you again they have you in these fantasies. You have to love yourself in your physical body. Love yourself in your physical. You have to love yourself totally. Okay. And so when you hear somebody saying, "Oh, that don't matter. Color don't matter. We know we all the same. All I see is souls." You know that's another thing too. It's just like saying, "I don't see color." It's the same thing. I don't see color. So you have to pretend like I'm something else. I'm I'm something else for you to be convinced I'm human or I'm a person or I matter. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the same thing. I hope that made sense to you. You know, so we need to accept, you know, accept uh, you know, ourselves for who we are, you know, and a lot of us Africans I don't want to know about my history. I don't want to know about... But it's, it's the harder it's going to be for you. You know, all I need is Jesus. That's all I need. Jesus did everything for me. Well, you're going to keep experiencing this. And you're going to keep seeing all of this stuff. You know, uh, you're going to keep seeing that until you're ready to deal with reality. Until you're ready to accept who you are and why this is being done. Okay? You know, religious people, are you really need to put it down for a second and do some historical study on who you are it is time to wake up we need you to wake up some of you are, wake, are waking up but we need you to wake up a little bit more we need you to wake up a little bit more and jesus is not going to fix this all the praying and marching is not going to fix it it's going to take a new way of thinking we're going to have to think in a segregated way you're going to have to start thinking, you know, building, nation building. You're going to have to start thinking this way. 
You know, no organization or anything is going to do it. It's going to take a new way of thinking to fix what is happening to us. It's that simple. It is that simple. When you see African people out, do business with them. Get that energy flowing. You know, awaken that energy up. You become a business owner. You know, African people, children, uh, learn more about your history. Young people, we're looking for you to change things because a lot of you are already awakened. And so uh, we're looking for you to change a lot of things too, especially the ones that are awakened. And I know a lot of uh, young people, they don't even believe these religions like that. Uh, many of them are already awakened. So that's good. And it is some Christians that's trying to wake up, you know. And I commend y'all for trying to wake up. But y'all need to wake up a little bit more. You know, we need you waking up faster. We need you being aware of what's going on. Okay, African people, if you really want to help and you're really tired of seeing stuff like this happen with uh, our African men being gunned down by the police, if you're tired of the injustice in the African community, African American community or people of color, uh, I suggest you start walking away from religion and start historically finding out more about yourself because you're going to find out more about what could possibly be done to you as well because this this has been done this this is nothing new this is you know this is nothing new they have practiced this for a very long time now they doing it in such a way to terrify us that's why i didn't want to see that uh that video i mean i don't want i don't like looking at the videos and stuff like that because it it, it is to terrorize you that's a, that's a form of, of trauma. That's a form of trauma. And we don't need to watch, we don't really need to watch those videos. You don't need to watch them. Because it it, uh, it uh, paralyzes you. It puts fear in you. And fear, fear is, 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 fear is not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Fear is, it, fear will paralyze you and you don't need any fear. You know, that's why I don't watch any, I don't why I don't want to watch that video because this, this, why even put that online? They could have stopped that from going online. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they could have stopped that from going online, you know, if they wanted to. And who was doing the recording of this thing? You know, who was doing the recording of this thing? You know, to me that that that's that was spreading fear. You know, so I don't I don't I don't I don't want uh, fear in my spirit. Because when I get ready to go into a warfare, be it spiritual or mental warfare, I don't need that type of imagery in my head when it's time for me to stand up and be the spiritual war warrior, a mental warrior I have to be to protect myself. Okay, so, you know, that's why I didn't, you know, who was recording it? We got to ask these questions. Who was recording that? You know, so don't don't look at that stuff either because it, it, it it's fear-based and it will create fear and it, it, only, uh, it only paralyzes you. You know what I'm saying? It paralyzes your spirit and you don't want to be that way. You don't want to inject your spirit with fear. So you have to watch that too. You know, uh, but don't be duped into that. Don't be duped into we're all the same type of stuff because you'll see that in the new age too. But is you got plenty of information about your African ancestors where you really don't have to um, learn too much from new age. Uh, you can stay in your African line. So, uh, but don't be duped into we're all the same and all that. Start thinking when people tell you that. Start thinking on that, because if we were all the same, we would have access to the same information. We wouldn't be miseducated on these levels about each other the way we are. You know what I'm saying? So we have to, you know, tear down these walls. And religious people, we need you to wake up, religious African people. 
And uh, and for you young people, we just need for you to just work together. Work together and don't make the mistakes that we made and get caught up in religion because the most important thing is being there for each other as uh, African people. And that's, that's the important um, purpose of our lives. So I hope this video helped you. Light and love and may the ancestors be with you.